Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at how we can get started with InfoList which is a very important aspect of Filament V3. So far we looked at how create function works for a resource and we also saw how to create the table, the form and stuff like that. But when we are doing a view we can show the content in the form of forms so let's just say when I'm editing or viewing my contact I see that same form it's basically an edit URL but if you want to have a different view for your view of that particular resource uh, let me put it that way what you can do is create a separate view for this use case and let's see how we can do that because for my deals I wanted a different layout I wanted to show the data in a different way and that is the reason I have created this as an example now before we dive into it there are a couple of changes which I would like you to understand the first one being you know, the sidebar is suddenly now on top I wanted to expand the entire um, content area I felt that is a more um, better way of managing the space because laptops are quite common and I expect to use the entire width for showing the information rather than using it as a sidebar for navigation okay so I have made that change how you can do that is basically if you go to your apps folder then you go into your providers I'll just exp you know, kind of collapse everything so we have providers and inside the provider you will see a filament folder and there I have my panel provider the admin panel provider in here I made two changes let's see the one is top navigation this results in the navigation going on top obviously if I comment it out and refresh you can see I am seeing the side navigation over here so I did that and then I also kind of used this so if I get my top navigation it still doesn't take the entire content width now you can say that you know you are happy with it and that's completely fine but I think or rather I felt that I could still use the entire width and hence the final result is basically what I have over here so these are the two changes that I have made in my code base this admin panel provider to get that UI level change now we will start with how to view records so you can go into this documentation and follow along if you are creating a new resource then you can use this command where you, know, you are passing this additional flag which tells filament that it wants to create a resource or rather it is supposed to create a resource with the view version as well otherwise it typically creates only three let me show you what I am talking about so let's open up deal resource over here if you go down typically you will not see this you will have index create and edit but once you add that flag you will also see the view version of it and if you have already created a resource you don't need to worry because we also have a command which will allow you to create that if you have an existing resource so what are we doing over here <clears throat> we are asking filament to create a page and the name is view user we are saying that this is this page is related to the user resource and the type is view record so you typically don't change this you change the name of your view and the entity so for my case it was view deal and the resource is deal resource after that if you see I have this now the example does a you know um, rounded uh, rather it's curly braces curly braces record and what I have done is I didn't follow that convention I have a view 
again it is up to you you define your routes they have shown it in this way now the rest of the example over here <clears throat> is talking a lot about you know rendering the form in different ways inside your view but as i said in this video i'm not talking about how to render forms in my view because we can already get that kind of in the edit view so if you only want to show a read only view of it then maybe you know there's a use case i have not generally used it but definitely if you have a use case where you want to customize the layout for the view of a resource this is what we are trying to do okay so i'll skip these things we can look at it later in a different video maybe but for a custom view the first thing is obviously we need to create a blade file because if we don't do that and if we don't tell our view page which you know we just we just created through this command right if we don't make this change filament doesn't know that we have a blade file for the view so what i have done is i have executed this command or rather i have created this blade file so i'll show you and again i will collapse everything i'll go to the code base resources okay views filament resources deals pages view deal okay and i have literally copy pasted this code but they are doing quite a few things for example if i have info list it will render the info list else it renders the form because it understands that the form will be there typically okay and then there is if you have relations it will just load the relations as well that's kind of you know what we wanted but obviously not the form we need to create an info list so what does the info list say so you can find the documentation about info list over here i have installed filament the entire package so i don't need to go through the installation over here but let's go to the get started so what it says is this is the function okay and what i have done is i defined that function inside my main resource so i'll go to filament deal oh i could have used this sorry i'll just close the blade file and somewhere over here i have this okay it's talking about a spelling mistake we can ignore that but we have a public static function called info list which returns an info list obviously and then i have done some stuff for example inside an info list we can create sections and it allows us to play around with grids layouts and other stuff but typically what you will get with the forms as well so in here i said even if it is a small viewport i am looking for four columns and then i have my schema inside the schema i have one section which has a call span of 1 do note that if i don't add this right for some reason it was not doing its job so it is not as if if you just you know, like my this middle section has a call span of 2 so i initially thought if i don't add these call spans it would kind of take the place but it is not like flex they just take the entire column available okay so i have to i had to specifically define that both these sections are of call span 1 and with that in place i have this fair enough what i can do is i'm planning to show the contact details over here and you know stuff like that which is you know something which i have seen in hubspot and i kind of i'm trying to relate to that okay but yeah that's the whole idea now this is done and what the info list allows us to do is there is a lot of thing over here but i will initially just talk about the basic stuff that i have done so far because i will take an entire video talking about all the niceties and and all the functionalities that 
allows you to create beautiful view layouts with InfoList. But yeah, the, at the base level, I would say you can relate a lot of these components of InfoList with the form components. Although the form components has obviously a lot more components to support. For example, it has select list and you know, uh, image, repeaters, builders, uh, whatnot, right? But in here you see there is text entry, icon entry, image, color, repeatable entry, custom entry, stuff like that. And it also allows us to play around with the layout. So it has grid, field sets, tabs and stuff like that. So yeah, how I am displaying this is I have three fields in my deal. I have the name, I added a, a label as well. I have a text entry for the description, which is coming over here. And then I have my stage, which is being displayed over here. I, yeah, I need to see what is the best way to display these items because and it's an enum, which is, uh, the, I mean, I think I, there must be a good way where I can modify it in one place so that all the views are kind of accepting it. Maybe it is the accessor inside the model, which is the best place. I'll just re research about it and then I'll make that change and I'll let you know. But yeah, so this is how I got it. And as I told you, if I go to my deal resource, this was the view deal page that got created. And inside the view deal page, I had to add this property which says that the dollar view property is this. Why? Because as I showed you, I have created this blade file at this path. And yeah, with all these changes in place, you get a different layout for your entity. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yes, a lot more videos are coming along. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.